this is where she was stuck, at the bottom of a cliff miles from anywhere in the Scottish Highlands. After three years of isolation, help was on its way to rescue Britain's loneliest sheep. I would be lying if I would say we had any sort of real uh, clever plan. Uh, Graham, who's an integral part of the team, bought a couple of uh, long ropes from Tiso on the road up and we had a canvas, very strong canvas feed sack that was big enough to hold Fiona and we were able to cut a little hole so that she could get her nose out to, to breathe. And the incredible thing was she was so relaxed throughout the whole process. As we were dragging her up, she actually started nibbling at little bits of grass. The owner couldn't get to Fiona, so this group of farmers said they'd help. We've come up here with some heavy equipment and we've got this sheep up an incredible slope. Let me just bring you in close to her here. Fiona. She had three years worth of wool on her and that essentially meant she floated up on a cloud. She, it was like she was wrapped in a mattress. So we didn't have to worry about that side of things. And the three of us kept a hold of the bag and just navigated the bag as we went and just kept manoeuvring around rocks and bushes and trees until we eventually got safely to the top with, without a, a scratch on her. After a much needed trim and a health check, isolation seems to have done Fiona no harm. We've all been absolutely blown away by how stress-free she is, how natural she feels around us, and she feels completely comfortable. She may have been content pottering around at the bottom of the cliff, but the farmers expect her to have a longer, happier life in her new home on a farm park in Dumfries. Lisa Dowd, Sky News.